<laughs> you literally just said your, you know, your husband's clearly a masculine man. Yes. What do you think that kind of man looks for in a woman? Masculine man, what he looks for. Mm -hmm. I think. Do you know what I think is really good for him? Mm -hmm. If I'm being really honest. Be honest, be real. I am really honest. I feel like I am. I've always been very career minded. I've mm -hmm. always been very independent. My past relationships have always been very 50-50. I've always been like, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Um, and it's always been me putting my career first. And with him, I it, it kind of happened at a really weird, bizarre time where I, COVID happened. So work stopped yeah. and it humbled me. Yeah. And I realized what was important in life and what wasn't. So yeah. our like process moved really quick. Um, and I feel like that kind of softened me. And I think he mm. saw like a vulnerable side to me as mm. well. And I think he was, he was caring about me being vulnerable, but also at the same time, I still had a bit of bite to me. I wasn't like a yes person. Like if I didn't agree with it, I think he liked the fact that I would say that I'm not comfortable with that. I had a backbone. Mm. And I think he actually needed that. Mm. And also I probably needed that because past experiences, I've probably taken advantage of the guy and mm. I may have walked all over them. Yeah. And it was that kind of like, we hold each other accountable. And I think we found that attractive in each other. 100%. Instead of like, can I swear? Yeah, go for it. Taking the piss with each other. Yeah. We were we're very compa like very compatible, but at the same time, we both we're like, no, hold on a minute, that's not happening. Yeah, kind of thing. So I think that's what going back to what you're saying is. I think he liked my vulnerable side, but also that I have got another side where I'm like, I won't, I won't stand for. I've got backbone. Yeah, a hundred percent. I think, and I do say this a lot as well. Mm. I think so many, so many women can be afraid to show that vulnerable side, yeah. especially if they are very career driven. And if you're going to be successful in any industry, mm. you have to be very alpha, very dominant, very yeah. aggressive. Like no one's just going to say, hey, come and take the top position, right? You have no. to go out there and get it. Yeah. So especially if they're not, if you're not used to doing that, showing that other side of you, tapping into the other side of you, when you meet a guy, the right kind of man, mm showing that side he's gonna embrace that and he did and just like take care of you in that yeah sense. yeah and i think when he saw like our relationship moved a lot quicker than probably what it would have been if covid hadn't existed sure covid was it kind of propelled us into he was like well you know, you've got your flat in London, but I'm going to be here in our hometown, which was great. My parents were around the corner from his house, oh, nice. which was lovely. Yeah. And he was like, just come move in just for two weeks. It's only gonna, this thing's going to last two weeks. And I was like, yeah, do you know what? I'll just get somebody into my flat and then I'll, I'll move in with you. And then four or five years later, here just, we are. She just never left. I'm still there. That was his so plan all along. Was like, if I can get her in yeah, the door, exactly. she's mine forever. Yeah, exactly. A lot well done, Lee. Door. Respect, mate. Yes. Absolute yes. respect. So, but who would have known? Who yeah. would have known? So, yeah. but do I think that he would have done that with anybody else? No. Mm. I think it's because we had that foundation of him knowing the, me for three and a half years. So if we hadn't have been together and had that foundation, like I probably would have been the only person. If mm. that makes sense. Without yeah. sounding big headed. No, no, 100%. But I think he wouldn't just move any old person in. Yeah, yeah. Because he's very much like very black and white. Like if he, he would be like, hell no kind of thing. But because mm. he knew me. Yeah, yeah. He knew 100%. the core of me. Yeah, I get that. What do you, what's your take on dating today? And what you're seeing like with your friends, what's going on in like the dating landscape? Like what's your take? Like what are you seeing? What are you observing? What's your take on it? Hmm. <sighs> dating a lot of my friends are in relationships mm -hmm. and the road to obviously everybody has their own little path to relationships and you know dating and things I just yeah I again I never did the whole 
like I've only dated guys that I've known. So I'm not probably the best person to give advice or what I I don't really, because I don't really know the dating game as in mm. online dating. So mm. I can't really comment about it. Well, I guess it. just w- what you see, because I guess, you know, even if you meet someone in yeah. real life, and I'm, I'm the same, okay. you know, being an actor, musical theatre industry, yeah. like your circles are always changing all the time. So and it's really easy to meet new people. Yeah. But obviously, data, I'd say dating now is very different to like 15 years ago. Oh, completely. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I guess to be fair, if you said all your friends are in relationships, then obviously it's going well for them. Yeah. In, they must be doing something, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but then again, saying that, I was really happy with being on my own. Mm. Like, and I feel like you don't, I've, I went from relationship to relationship. And the last relationship that I had... I was just like, do you know what? I don't. And I think when you are in a place where you're okay to be on your own, Mm -hmm. then do you, uh, uh, what I always say is I don't want to be with somebody. I mean, I don't need, sorry, rephrase that. I don't need to be with anybody. I want to be with somebody Mm -hmm. and they don't make me happy. I make me happy, but they can add to my happiness. Hundred percent. And I feel like if you're filling yourself up, I think you have like, when you're okay and you you just have a, a glow about you anyway. Do you, do you know what I mean? And that attracts it anyway. Yeah. yeah. So I feel. So I feel like, if anything, I mean, I'm no guru, but just advice is: you don't actually need to be with somebody to make yourself to, to add, you know, to make to make you happy. You don't need that external validation. I mean, it's nice to have somebody. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, like you know, me and Lee, we really like help each other grow and everything, but. Yeah, I just feel like you have to be, you have to be okay on your own. And then I feel like dating becomes just fun, something you can do to enjoy. And then if something comes of that and grows into Mm. something deeper, then that's great. I don't think marriage and relationships should be the be all and end all Mm. to make you happy. But I think that's a great bonus. And if that's sort of something you really, really want, then yeah, go for it. But Mm. I think to be, try and do the journey for you first yes yeah, yeah would you agree you know i i do okay. agree i do agree that um 100 it is it is completely us to make ourselves happy and someone having a relationship they add to the happiness yes um if you're not happy within yourself just having a relationship is not going to make you happy no. it can make you feel better mm. but it may not make you happy mm. if ultimately you're not happy within yourself yeah um <clears throat> one thing i would say is that i do think that as we get older or life experience mm. um, that we we start to realize that actually it's the connections we have with people which is what is fulfilling or one of the most fulfilling things Agreed. and it can be with a partner with friends with family yeah. do you know what I mean um, but yeah I think it's And I say this as someone who, you know, anyone who knows me, I've always been very driven in that sense. And while I've been very blessed in my journey, the happiest day of my life was my cousin's wedding. And it was because, honestly, yeah, because it was like, you know, he's like an older brother to me. My sister-in-law, they, she, she's like an older sister because they've been together for like 10 odd years. She was basically adopted into the family. Um, All family there, friends there, just having a lovely time. And I'm like, you know, regardless of, you know, I'm very blessed. Like I've won an award for stuff. I've done big shows and all this yeah. stuff. Irrespective of all that, spent like spending time with the people you love, doing what you love with the people you love. Yeah. I, just nothing beats that, at least for me. And I, I think as we get older, we realize that as human beings, that mm. connections is a lot of what is fulfilling as part of the human experience. Um, and so part of, having those quality connections is developing yourself in a way where you can invite that and embrace that yeah you know and making sure because when you do that you know it's the right one um as opposed to just having one because it's there out of desperation does that make sense yeah no i agree i i second everything you said like Mm. for me i've always been very proud of my achievements and i think everything and and everything that i've done i've on my bucket list I've done mm. and Lee, like Lee asked me because I'm like well I have like I've done I've formed at the O2 Wembley I've done I've, everything that I have wanted to do in my life I've done it and I've ticked it and I've kind of looked for that to like 
that's like my, yes, my, my ego stroke, I suppose as well. Yeah. And also like my tenacity and everything. I think, yes, I've done that. What's next? Yeah. The best day of my life mm. was getting married to Lee. Wow. That's beautiful. And I think, and it, it, I never wanted to get married. He's the only person that I've all ever wanted to get married. I said to my dad when I was 17, I sat on the drive, it'd been, I think it was Lee's birthday and I bought him a load of stuff and I was so excited to give it to him. I was like, dad, I'm going to marry him one day. I'm going to marry this boy. <laughs> and he was like, all right, okay, yeah. He's thinking, what are you want about Harriet? Like, like we're 17, what yeah, do you know? Yeah, he was like, all right, you just go off to London and do your thing kind of thing. All right, we'll have that conversation. Yeah. And we even said in our vows, and we didn't know, we wrote each other personal vows and we didn't know. And we found a letter before I was going off to college. And he said, I will, ma I promise you, I will marry you one day. Wow. And I was like, that came true. And actually I've only ever wanted, I've only said I'd ever, ever marry him. And then the thought of marriage, I think when you're younger, like you say, you're not even thinking about things like that. Nothing's yeah. aligning. Whereas now everything's aligned and I was ready. And I thought when we got back together, I was like, oh my God, like, I do want to marry this man. Like I, everything mm. just feels right. Everything just feels like our paths were intertwined for a reason. Like mm. it just was magic. And I was like, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine ever being without him. Yeah. And it's funny because it's like, <laughs> I was having a conversation with Lee and, and we were, we were going off topic. He was like, Oh, Harriet, he said, my mates used to call me and be like, right, we're going to the football, we're going out, we're doing this. He'd be like, do you know what? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with Harry. I'm going to, I'm gonna go to London. Da, 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 da. And he'd be like, Oh, you're under the thumb. Oh, what has she done? She said, No, I'm choosing. He was like, I'm I want to marry this woman. Like, yeah. I I love her. I want to spend time with her. And I was going, if you want to go, go. And he was like, No, he's like, I just we just want to be with you. And I was like, I just want to be with you too. Oh man, that's yeah. so sweet. That's amazing, man. And I think it's and like you said, that's the thing. It's a choice. Yes. Right. It's a choice that yeah. we have to make and yes. be able to make, you know, yeah. and, you know, getting married. It's like, I promise to be choosing you every day, you yeah. know, whatever that looks like. Hope you really enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full episode where that clip is from, then we need to click right here where you can watch the full episode. And if you're ready to claim your man today, enroll in my program below and I'll see you there. Wishing you an amazing day.